discovering I was gay, I was quite young. Um, didn't really speak to anyone about it. It was sort of sort of like a long discovery process. Um, coming from quite a large family, there was quite a lot of typical teasing going on. Like, have you got a girlfriend yet? And uh, who do you fancy? Or is that your girlfriend? Um, but other than that, there was sort of no no discussion around it. Uh, it was never sort of brought up uh, in the family home. Um, friendships were quite difficult. Uh, essentially, I sort of hid myself away whilst sort of coming to terms with it and, and dealing with it. The university's helped me understand what it is to be part of a workforce, uh, work for an organisation that respects diversity and celebrates it um, at all levels as well. Um, I work in quite a administrative office and one of my first experiences that just cemented the whole thing for me was when I first came here I started getting involved in organising Sheffield Pride and the representation for the university there and I told my colleagues in the middle of a team meeting without even a second thought after which my managers told me that essentially I just came out to my entire office which I kind of did but I, I didn't really know, realise it so to actually do something like that without realising it and for it to be completely fine and everyone to still look at me the same and treat me the same sort of a bit of a, a bit of an eye opener and sort of a shining example of why I'm happy to work here and why it's such a great place to be. The city of Sheffield in general has helped me uh, mainly because I've lived here my whole life, I was born here uh, and I've sort of grown up with Sheffield. I've seen it become a lot more multicultural, uh, a lot more open and friendly which is something it's, it's quite well known for now. Uh, I'll be honest I didn't really feel that when I was younger, it felt a little bit like a prison. Um, but it's just so just so open now, open and friendly and accepting. It feels like home. Um, it is home. Uh, the University of Sheffield, um, I'm not supposed to tell many people this, but I actually graduated from Sheffield Hallam. Um, but I spent a lot of time uh, on both campuses uh, as a student, uh, just getting used to the environment, meeting lots of great friends, um, having such a good time. Uh, inspired me to want to be a member of staff here. Uh, and now I am here as a member of staff, meeting other colleagues, uh, other LGBT colleagues and friends across the university. Um, it's just a great thing. By not coming out, I think I would have missed um, some truly great friendships that I have now, uh, both based in Sheffield and further afield, and also the, the networking opportunities it's presented uh, with other LGBT colleagues specifically within the university and with other universities as well. If I could go back in time and tell my younger self one thing, it would be to let go of your fear. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Be prepared for the possibility that not everyone's going to accept you for being yourself, but ultimately don't let that stop you.